Welcome traders to another RLT Trading View tutorial. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that if you find value in these videos, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of any future video releases that we have, as well as being notified of our live Pivot podcast that airs Thursdays, 4.15 to 4.45 Eastern. Let's dive in. Hey traders, Tracy here. And for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm one of the mentors over at Real Life Trading. So if you're interested in learning more about how we trade or checking out some of our free content, please come on by to www.reallifetrading.com. We'd love to see you there. And thanks for joining me today. So in today's video, what I want to talk about is the super trend indicator. Now, this was a request from one of our viewers. Uh, and uh, this is not something, this is not an indicator that I trade with. I've looked at it, I've used it a bit, but uh, I don't trade with it particularly. No reason why. Uh, I just have my own style of trading, but I wanted to, um, to kind of go over what this is. Now, the first thing that we'll start with is how to get the super trend indicator on your chart. So the first thing that you need to do is go over to the FX button up top here, the indicator and strategies button. You click on it and you're given a search bar right here where you can type in super trend and you'll see that it's available in the public library. This is not a built-in indicator available on TradingView. Somebody has written the script for it and published it. You can see there's a variety of different options in here. So select one. If you don't like it, pick another one and, until you find one that you like. This particular one here I have on my chart. And uh, the basics of the super trend are as follows. It, it uh, looks back a certain period of time and it calculates the average true range. And then it makes a calculation based on the movement of price to determine whether you should be in long or whether you should be in short. And it's a way to determine trends. So if we take a look at the settings, just you go up to the indicator on the top left hand corner and you look for the little gearbox, click it. It's going to take you into the settings and as you can see the average true range period so this is the time frame that we're looking back at to calculate the uh, the average true range is a 22 period range and then there's a multiplier of three so they take that average true range they multiply it by three that gives a, a calculation to determine whether or not you should be in long or in short and I don't know all the math that's behind it. If you're interested in that, feel free to, to research it a bit more, but these are the standard settings. Um, I wouldn't necessarily play around with it, but if you, if you want to, I mean, go right ahead and see, maybe you can tweak it a little bit so that it works better for you. So then just click okay. And what you'll see here is you'll see the section that's green, you'll see the section that's red. Basically the green section is um, an uptrend and the red section is supposed to be a downtrend. You've got the buy signal right here at the start of the trend and you've got the sell signal at the um, start of a downtrend. And this green line, this is an, a trailing stop. So this is basically where you would be putting your stop. And the red line would be where you'd be putting your stop if you were short. The idea is when you get a buy signal, you'd enter on that candle. So if you entered at the break of the top, top of the candle, your stop would be below here. So if we were to put a, a position tool on here, you could do something like that. And this would be your trade. Now, obviously, you don't get filled until about this particular spot right here. And then you would just continue to trail your stop up. And as you can see right at this area here, you'd end up getting trailed out of your position and you'd also be getting a sell signal to go short. Now that's the, the basics of how this works. And I mean, you could you can play with the indicator and come up with your own routine and strategy on how you wanna enter. Uh, maybe you wanna enter on the close of those candles, I don't know, but uh, um, you can play around with it. Now, some people have um, added a few little other things just to kind of tweak it a bit. One of them being a, a long-term moving average typically. So if this, uh, if you look at this purple line, this is the 100 EMA. So the idea behind that is that if price is above the 100 EMA, you would be going for long only. And if price is below that 100 EMA, then you'd only be looking to go short. So in this particular case, you get a buy signal right here. So you'd enter your trade. Let's just put the position tool on the break of that candle, for instance. 
set your position and you'd be getting out right there on that cell signal as well as getting triggered on the stop uh, as the price penetrates through the um, the trailing stop so you would have made a, a couple R move on this particular trade if you did that now once this sell signal comes in of course you wouldn't take that trade you'd wait till you get the next buy signal and in that particular case you would be entering in on the high of that candle and you'd be getting out right at this location here I'll just mark that with another line so that you can see it better but you'd be getting out right there so you would have had a small win there um, etc so this is kind of how the uh, super trend works I think it's uh, an interesting little indicator and I'd like to thank the person that suggested it or recommended it or wanted to requested the video to be done so here's just one more tool that you can play around with see if you like it Maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. It can be used on all time frames. So if you want, I mean, I'm on a 78 minute chart right now, but if you went to a daily chart, it, it works just fine. You can, you can enter in on a daily chart and I'm sure that you could even do it on an intraday chart, but uh, maybe come up with some, some other parameters that'll help you determine whether or not you should be looking for a long or short. Cause obviously the smaller time frames, you're gonna get more signals. All right, so if you like this video, find value in this video please hit that subscribe button hit that like button don't forget to hit the notification bell and feel free to throw any comments in the comments below and we'd love to hear from you happy trading everyone mm -hmm.